Okay, this is part two of my chicken and noodle creation. <laughs> this is what I wanted to show you. And now, I added a little bit more water because my juice had cooked down some. My stock had cooked down a little bit, um, which is okay because I'm going to put the pasta in and let it cook. I didn't want to take my chicken up fully cooked, so my chicken is not totally cooked. Remember, we put it on low uh, because it doesn't take long for legs to cook, but we put it on low because we don't want it to cook all the way. I want to finish cooking in with the noodles. So I'm taking the chicken out and then putting it in a little side pot there. See how pretty that cook? That is so pretty on the outside. All right. This is good to do also if you want to bake you some chicken. If you want to just sear it in a uh, skillet or a pot with oil and and um, maybe, you know, your seasoning or something. Or you can do it without the seasoning. Um, and then put it in the oven. It gives it a nice uh, crispy outside and a, then an inside will be nice soft bake. Okay, so we don't have anything in our, no more chicken in the, in the stock. What I did was I taken the pasta and I break it up let's see here I broke it in half so we can have small pasta I don't want the long and if you want to you can even break it again you know I pop it in half like that and you can put it smaller uh, doesn't have to be so long okay and just a few um, I'm just doing a small pot so I don't need that much so I'm just gonna put that down in there and just let it come to a boil um, when it comes to the first boil, you can go ahead and add your chicken and then let it cook a little longer. Um, I'm going to turn it up on medium, like right in there on medium, so it'll boil. And once it boils for about, mm, let's say, let's give it, I just started 12 or 9. Let's give it till about 12 after. That's a good three minutes to just let it boil. Uh, one thing about multigrain pasta is, um, I don't want to use the word tough, but lack of a better word, it's a little tougher than the white pasta. So it, it's okay to let that boil a little longer than the uh, white pasta. Um, once that boil for three minutes, then you could take your chicken and lay it back down in there with the noodles. If you want, you can add more water. Uh, if you, you know, like that, that stock. But um, I'm just going to kind of, I don't know, I'm, I'm going to leave it like it is. Because I'm thinking about adding something else to it to make it a little creamy or gravy-like. I haven't decided yet. But anyway, that's my noodles for you. Uh, I'm sorry that I'm going to have to make a part three to this. One day I'm going to learn how to cut and, and make my videos uh, more professional. Edit them a little better so they can be one video. But I just want to give you an idea of how I want it to boil. And you just kind of let that boil a little bit for about three minutes. And it won't stick or anything like that. You can kind of stir it around if you want to. So just kind of let that boil. And so after three minutes, like I say, um, you might not even have to do it for three minutes, depending on your stove, uh, your range. You can let it boil for two minutes, but do let it boil. And once you put your chicken back in there, and it's, uh, it's been a minute now. So once you put your chicken back in, you want to turn your fire down. Your fire down to... Uh, I'm from the south, so I say fire, but you want to turn your heat down to maybe close to low but not directly on low because you do want your chicken to cook this time that's a good boil right there okay it's been two minutes already so I tell you what since my range cooked a little fast I'm gonna go ahead and start putting my chicken back down in there I was gonna wait to 12 after but it's 11 after we're good just want to show you how to do this so while it's boiling, I just kind of place my chicken back down in there a little bit. So I'm going to let all that cook together. I try to put my big pieces of chicken down in there first because this needs to cook a little longer. 
And as you see, I don't have a whole lot of water because I am going to make a thickening or some people call it gravy. And what I'll do is I'll kind of, I'll post how I made my gravy. I won't make you suffer through another video. But basically this is how it's going to look when it's finished. So I'm going to turn my fire down or my heat down low so that my chicken will cook even more, a little longer because it's not totally done. But by the time the chicken gets done, the noodles will be perfect. And that's what we have. And see, your pasta's cooking right along. That's going to be delicious. Okay. Now, just put your top back on and let that cook a little bit. I know you see a little bubbles in there, but you can put this on top. That'll kind of calm that down a little bit. Make sure that your heat is turned down low. Turn it down low so it'll cook a little bit like a crock pot. And um, I will show you, hopefully I can upload some pictures. Um, I haven't mastered that yet, still shots on YouTube. But um, we'll see what we can do. But as I say, this is what it's going to look like ultimately at the end. It's going to have my pasta and my chicken. I'm going to add a, um, a thickening to make a gravy or sauce. And it's going to be delicious. So it'll be chicken noodle and seasoning i haven't found a name for it yet but just something to do if you you know i like to make videos for people who don't have much in the kitchen or you just want to you don't feel like going to the store so you want to cook what you have and you want to cook on a budget and if you got chicken legs you got some noodles you got seasoning you got a meal uh, throw you some vegetables on the side or throw you some vegetables in the pot with the chicken and you got a meal thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned some. You got any questions? Be sure to uh, comment below and let me know what you think. Have a good day.